there now. Mr. Frodo. Mr. Frodo. Huh? Sir. Uh oh. Oh, Sam. Oh. Mm. Not resting? Is anything wrong? What's the time? About a couple of hours after daybreak. Oh. You should have been resting, Sam. But I do feel hungry. Mmm. I can smell it from here. What have you stewed? A present from Smeagol. A brace of young conies. Mmm. Mr. Frodo, did you hear a whistle and what sounded like an answer? Here's where the smoke came from. We have it in a trap. Then we shall learn what kind of thing it is. If the men were astonished by what they saw, their captives were even more astonished. Four tall men stood there. Two had spears in their hands. Two had great bows of almost their own height and great quivers of long green feathered arrows. At once Frodo thought of Boromir, for these men were like him in stature and bearing and in their manner of speech. What have we found? Not orcs. Elves? Nay, not elves. Elves are wondrous fair to look upon, or so it is said. Meaning we're not, I guess. Thank you kindly. And when you finish discussing us, who are you? I am Faramir, captain of Gondor. Hmm. Come, where is the third of your company? I don't know where he is. He's only a chance companion, and I'm not answerable for him. I am Frodo, son of Drogo, and with me is Samwise. We are hobbits from the Shire. Mm. We have come by long ways. Seven companions we had. A dwarf, an elf, and two men. Aragorn and Boromir. Boromir? Son of the Lord Denethor? That is news indeed. No, little stranger, that Boromir was our captain general. We must learn more of this. But not now. We have business in hand. You are in peril. If I return, I will speak more with you. Two men will remain on guard. Farewell. Farewell. Think what you will. I am a friend of all enemies of the one enemy. We would go with you. May the light shine on your swords. I wonder where that dratted golem is. He stands a fair chance of being spitted like an orc. That's true. Huh. It sounds like a hungry blacksmith all smithying together. They're as near as I want them now. Look, an elephant took it back. An elephant it was. So there are elephants. And I've seen one. What a life. But no one at home will ever believe me. Well, if that battle's over, I'll have some sleep. <laughs> Good night, Sam. I wish then to learn more of it from you. For what concerns Boromir concerns me. Had you this thing in keeping? It is hidden, you say. But isn't that because you choose to hide it? Not because I choose. It doesn't belong to me. It doesn't belong to any mortal, great or small. Though if any could claim it, it would be Aragorn, whom I named uh -huh. the leader of our company. Why so? Why not Boromir, prince of the city that the sons of Elendil founded? Aye. Because Aragorn is descended in direct lineage from Elendil's son himself. What? And the sword that he bears was Elendil's sword. What? Elendil's sword? Maybe, but so great a claim will need to be established. Boromir was satisfied of that claim. My part in the company was known to him, but it is not mine to reveal to any outside the company. Yet those who claim to oppose the enemy would do well not to hinder it. So, you bid me mind my own affairs. Were you a friend of Boromir? Yes, yes, I, I was his friend, for my part. Then you would grieve to learn that Boromir is dead. Dead? Oh, I would indeed. How then did he die? Or, or how do you know of it? Tidings of death have many wings. 
Night oft brings news to near kindred, tis said. Boromir was my brother. Oh. What? Do you remember aught of special mark that the Lord Boromir bore with him upon his gear? Oh, I remember Boromir bore a horn. You remember well. Hmm. Five days ere I set out on this venture, I sat at night by the waters of the Anduin River. I saw a boat floating on the water, glimmering gray, a small boat of a strange fashion. And as it passed under my gaze, it seemed to me it was almost filled with clear water from which came a light. And lapped in the water, a warrior lay asleep. A broken sword was on his knee, and I saw many wounds on him. It was Boromir, my brother. I knew his gear, his sword, his beloved face. One thing I knew not. A fair belt, as it were, of linked golden leaves. This brooch is of the same workmanship. Ah, his golden belt was given him in Lothlorien by Galadriel. And now your tale fills me with dread. For if Boromir was in peril and was slain, I must fear that all my companions perished too. Go back, Faramir, valiant captain of Gondor, and defend your city while you may. And let me go where my doom takes me. You, Frodo and Samwise, will come with me and my guards in the morning. I will decide what is best for me to do. And you for you. You were not wholly frank with me, Frodo. I told you no lies, and of the truth, all I could. Clearly, some mighty heirloom was the cause of contention in your company. Do I not hit near the mark? Near, but not in the gold. Ancient tales teach us also the peril of rash words concerning such things as heirlooms. Ah, then it is as I thought. Boromir wished this thing brought to Minas Tirith. Well... <clears throat> it's my opinion that from the moment he first saw it, he wanted the enemy's ring. Sam, Sam. Sam. You save me. Uh, there I go again. Oh, dear. Oh, dear. Uh, uh, now look here, sir. Now's the chance to show your quality. So it seems. So that is the answer to all the riddles. The one ring that was thought to have perished from the world. And Boromir tried to take it by force. And you escaped. And ran all the way. To me. And here in the wild I have you, two havelings, and a host of men to my call, and the Ring of Rings. A pretty stroke of fortune. A chance for Faramir, captain of Gondor, to show his quality. <laughs> Look out, Mr. Frodo! Uh, alas for Boromir. It was too sore a trial. But you are less judges of men than I of halflings. Be comforted. Strange as it may seem, Samwise, it huh? was safe to declare this to me. <sighs> it may even help the master that you love. But do not name this thing again aloud. Once is enough. I... I was going to find a way to Mordor. I was going to Gorgoroth. I must find the mountain of fire and cast the thing into the gulf of doom... Gandalf said so, and and I don't think I shall ever get there. Oh. Help here. Oh, Mr. Frodo. Oh, my master's fainted. No, no, he's only asleep. Well, well, good night then, Captain, my lord. You took the chance, sir. Did I so? And showed your quality. Yes, sir. The very highest. <laughs> A pert servant, Master Samwise. But nay... I had no lure or desire to do other than I have done. Good night.